Are you looking for a quick way to organize learners in groups in the classroom? Or select a name randomly for a presentation, an activity, or an icebreaker? Flippity.net can help you do that in seconds with the random name picker. So let's look at it. First, you need to select instructions. Option one, quick and easy, allows you to copy and paste your list of students. So I'm gonna copy the names from my list. And I'm going to paste them in this box. And then you can also change the title. So I'm gonna call this the TLX Team Generator. Next, I will select Generate. It will create a spinner for me, so I can choose a random name by clicking on the spinner. There we go, we have our first name. But we can also organize these names in different configurations. We can have single name. We can select or create groups based on the number of students you need per group. So groups of two, groups of three, groups of four or five. You can also do it based on the number of teams you need, two teams, three teams, four teams, five teams. There's also an option for a chart, which organizes uh, learners like this. And if you click on more, you'll see a couple more options. You also have the option for changing uh, to dark mode if, you, if that's your preference. And by clicking on these um, icon, it, it will save the theme every time you create um, teams or groups through Flippity. So I'm going to keep it as uh, the, the light mode. OK, so I'm going to go back to groups of five. I'll show you a couple more options that you have available. You have an option to reshuffle the groups. So for example, if you need a different configuration, you click on reshuffle and it creates new groups for you. You can also rotate groups. So for example, if your students are working through stations or different activities, and you want them to go from activity number one to two to three to four, or you have different questions that you want students to answer sequentially, then you can rotate groups like this. You also have the option to create jigsaw groups and an option to change to a printer-friendly version without color if you need to print it. You can take it to full screen if you will show it in your classroom's uh, screen or online. You also have the option to add a timer. So let's say we're going to give 10 minutes for this activity and you can add instructions. So I will copy and paste the instructions that I have created. Okay, so here are my questions. And you also have the option to copy. So if you want to save this configuration or you want to keep track of which students uh, were working together, you can then copy to clipboard and you can bring to your Word document, for example, or Brightspace, and you can paste the groups here. If students need to revisit uh, their groups or you need to review uh, which groups uh, were made. So you'll notice that it created a separate tab on my computer. So if you think you're going to be using these list of names again, so if you want to uh, create a, a specific site for each one of your classes, you can do that by selecting you know, the name. So I'm going to, uh, and how do you do that? You, you just have to bookmark the tab. So if I bookmark the tab and I select the name for my tab, so this one is the flippity.net TLX team generator. I click on done, and now even if I close it, I can come back to it. So I'm going to look for my bookmark, which is now the last one on my list. Here it is, flippity.net TLX team generator. And I have it. My names are here. So then I can use it again uh, next week or in a different class, and I can change the configuration. If you need to edit or add more names, you can click on more quick edit, and then change. And the edits are temporary. So if you if you want to make it permanent, you would need to bookmark it again. So that is what uh, the random name picker can do in Flippity. But Flippity has many other interesting and fun activities to try, such as a quiz show, uh, a virtual breakout, or, or flashcards, for example. 
and other activities that are meant to be printed, such as the word search, crossword puzzle, or the word scramble. So if flippity sounds like something you'd like to try, it's very easy, very fast to create groups in your classroom or to engage them in some fun and different activities, feel free to explore Flippity or connect with the TLX and the AdTech team if you want to learn more. Thank you and goodbye.